Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, everyone's having an exciting Tuesday. You know, Tuesday is its hump day. It's always fun on it. Good to see you, too, Dennis, Chuck, everybody. Well, you know what? Early bird gets the worm. Looks like everyone's starting to roll on their feet a little bit earlier, but uh, I don't know where you guys were at 730 in the morning, but there were, <laughs> there were a few of us in here. We did pretty well. Everybody all good? I'm still okay. Tiny losses again. Tiny gains so far. Wayne, all right, good. Ben, you already made a uh, buck twenty-five on Roku. It's good that you also and also Ben, you jumped in the trade with me on that BA trade. All right. So anyway, um, let's get right to it. First of all, hopefully all you new members here are having a hell of a time. There's no better place, a safer place, and healthier place not to get sick than being in the cyber group room. So if you you know with the whole coronavirus thing going on, you know what? At least. The, 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 People are like, I don't know what to do with myself. Listen, just sit there and trade the market. That's why we're here. That's what you train for. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it and having some fun. Now, um, regarding about yesterday and what happened, I mean, we, we did really, really well yesterday. A lot of people made a lot of money yesterday uh, in trading certain stocks. And um, we'll talk a little bit about those, who they were and everything like that. A uh, couple of nice little trades. First of all, all the, uh, the casino stocks were moving. You had Penn. Let me bring it up here. Penn was doing really well. You could see the here. Let me just change the chart here. So you can see a little bit better. Penn, yeah. Uh, there's more. Penn had a nice little pop. You know, that went from 7 to about 10. It's going up. It's up 11. A lot of people made money on that one. QD. Another one had a nice pop from a buck 70 to 240. Uh, everyone did really well on that one, too. We had, uh, I mean, basically, the list goes on and on and on. We traded win, you know, all the casino stocks, airline. Listen, we it was a lot of money being made, but let me tell you, remember what we said yesterday? It's all comes down to uh, scalping. This is a scalping market. You got to be careful of, and scalp because, you know, when you think you hit the bottom, sure enough, look what happened yesterday. They thought they had a deal on the table at the Congress, in, at the Senate. All of a sudden, somebody came in, had to blow it all up. And then like, oh, now we want to do this, this, and then that's it. And the market just tanked. It went down about 800 points. So we had like a 1,000-point swing yesterday, which was awesome in the cyber group room. But, you know, once again, now they're back to the table. Looks like the deal's going to go through. Hopefully nobody's going to, you know, blow it up again. But you know what? This, this whole bill is getting more and more and more money. People just, you know, it's unbelievable when you really think about how much endless money they could just print it. You know, here we are crying about, you know, 5 billion, 2 billion, you know, a couple of million. We're talking trillions, trillions, you know, before they said it was going to be a trillion dollar deal. Now it's like trillion and a half, 2 trillion. What's next? 5 trillion. But you know what? They could do it if they wanted to. And you know what? Remember what I keep telling you regarding about the financial district, uh, uh, catastrophe, this is not the financial cat. This is a, a, someone has a flu in the house and you're doing everything you can. He's going to get better. But if you had to file bankruptcy in your house, if you had to file bankruptcy, okay, that's not a two week thing. All right. That could last you two, three, four years down the road. Big, big difference. Now, getting back to what's going on regarding the market, um, I just want to bring up the BA trade. Okay. So BA, yes. And, and by the way, Ben, I still have it. Okay. Two things. I just sent out a photograph. You guys follow me on Instagram? And I, and I, put, it, I put a picture on them. I'm like, what's wrong with this photo? What is really wrong? And the photo is this one right here. The stock was almost 400, 450 when the crash came down. And obviously, it's been down because of the max jet. 350 down, it was 90? Are you kidding me? Now, a couple of things I want to point out. First of all, I'm losing money on BA in my swing trade because I thought it was a screaming buy at a buck seventy. Okay, that was what last week. Okay, um, I rode the thing down from 170, and I bought more at 95. I averaged down because if I loved it at 170, I'm drooling in my mouth at 95. I know this company is not, you know, going to go anywhere. It's, it's it's a national security situation. You hear the bailout going on. You know, I always I owned this stock um, a long time ago, and I sold it. Um, until this day, I'm still ticked off at myself that I sold it when they first came out the double decker 
And I'm like, damn, I, sh I should have held that stock. And that was like at 90. And then sure enough, it wasn't really going anywhere. And I sold it. And the thing went to 450. Now you have the opportunity to buy it back. A couple of things I want to point out about this stock now, Boeing. Why did we buy Boeing this morning? Okay. I told you in the trading room, the CEO is coming on Fox Business News right now. And that was at 8 o'clock in the morning. Let me just change the time frame when they made the announcement. And I said, holy crap, that's great news. If he's going to come out and talk, we think he's going to knock his company down. We, this is a strategy we do it all the time in the cyber group room. If the CEO comes on, on a company, this is what you have to look for. And sure enough, look what happened. We jumped in right around the 116 price. If everyone got in, he came in at 830, started talking. Boom. Where did it go? 116. Look where we're at right now. 124. We almost hit 125. So you do the math. What is that? Eight points? If you still had, I mean, I mean, eight is a lot. Now, listen, a lot of you looking at it say, well, it's a lot of money, Fausto. If you bought 100 shares, 100 shares, okay, at 116 is $11,000 investment, and you sold it at 123, let's say, what did you make? Did pretty damn well there. What did you make, close to 600? Oh, who wouldn't want that job? You're done for the day. Now, I want to tell you some uh, something what happened to me this morning which I'm really, really ticked off. This is why, you you know, and this is one of the big failure rates of today's industry, and we're going to go through the watch list because we got a few good stocks that are moving, and, and we're going to watch them, especially what's going on the market. Big Pop, Josh, and Penn. Okay, we'll check that out. But let me just bring up, uh, let me just tell the Boeing story. You know, half the people lose money in trading because they have the wrong brokerage account. Now, I have multiple brokerage accounts. I don't mix my swing trading with my day trading. So my swing trading account I have with TD Ameritrade. So they won't let me put a trade in pre-market. Until today, people think like, wow, you could trade pre-market? I wish I could have traded pre-market. I would have bought Boeing at 116. Now I got to wait. I still got to wait 20 minutes to get in. Is it still a buy? Well, you know what? Because you went out there and you got sold the, the monkeys and the babies with the E-Trade commercials. You know what I mean? You, they're not. It's not that they're bad companies, but... You can't trade with the right wrong brokerage account. Now, granted, it's a swing trading account, and I don't like to mix it. But unfortunately for me, you know, I got I could have bought more when I wanted to, but I was thank God I have a day trading account because I'm still day trading it. So I still made the money in the day trade, and then obviously it's it's a wash for me because you know I'll sell this and then I'll buy it later if I still think it's going up. But very very important. A tip of the day, guys, for all of you out there, you got to have the right brokerage account. Everybody makes – first people come in here in the cyber group room. They do a trial. Oh, do I open a brokerage account first? Are you out of your mind? It's the last thing you want to do. First, you got to make sure of trading is for you before you go out there and do it. Now, regarding about a couple of stocks that are moving this morning, obviously we got the BA on there, and that's been on there since this morning. Now, granted, some other people look, well, you know, it's a little expensive, whatever. Listen, what about the IM, IMAC? Did we not call that one out earlier? That was at 8.30 to 8 o'clock this morning we found that stock, and it kept going. Then 8.30, thing popped up on my radar. Everyone should have had the stock at a buck forty. Everybody should have had it at 8.30. Remember, there's two big moves where program trading kicks in. It comes in at 8 a.m. and at 8.30, and that's where the volume picked up. And guess what? You're up about on 1,000 shares? On 1,000 shares, you would have made more money on iMac than you would have made on, um, on Boeing. So listen, you— 140, you sold it now, there, there you are. You, you made 60 cents on what, a $2,000 investment on 1,000 shares? Stock trade, 2.9 million shares already. Benito says um, he's already up 25 cents. He's in at a buck 80. And you chased it, Benito, right? And you chased it. So, I mean, <laughs> let's give him a round of applause. I mean, money's money. All right, so, um, and it's still going higher. So, obviously, the news is obviously pretty good. Anyway, what's wrong with this picture? Five dollars down to forty cents, right? What's wrong with that photo? Look at that one, and it's still going. Absolutely, it's still going. Stocks up four hundred percent. I'm not making that crap up. Look at that four three ninety nine. Look at that, almost four hundred percent. When's the last time you guys been in a stock that was up four hundred percent? For us, it was about maybe you know every other day. <laughs> All right, so a couple of the stocks that are moving in the market. Nvax, another one that we found. Now, NVAX, I don't know what happened. It had a nice push. It was moving up. It's gapped up a little big right now. So it's second protocol for us here 
at cyber trading, but it is going on the watch list. Next stock, NVAC, uh, INO, another one. This was an early mover, 8 a.m., program trading kicked in. Boom, stock went from 670 to 790. Thought it was going to probably hold strong. A lot of us got out around 750. I still want to keep an eye on it. Remember, we traded NVAX. Uh, I actually lost money on NVAX. I'm not going to lie to you. Thank God I got out of it, okay, because I did buy it at 770, and then I got out at 7, uh, 760, 760, uh, 55, I think it was. And you know what? If I didn't get out, look where I am now. So do we lose money here? Absolutely. And you think we're not – I'm not – I'm not – you know, I'm not going to say it. Of course I'm going to say it. Listen, but it was a good loss. It was a good loss because you know what? Losing is a good thing. If you know why you lost, you're not going to do it again. And you know what? Remember what I always tell everybody. Our job at Cybertrain University is not to teach you how to make money and find these stocks. That's illegal. We can't do that. And anyone does that, eventually didn't get shut down. Obviously, you saw what happened Online Trading Academy. Um, and uh, Optionetics and, and Invest Tools and all of them. They all did it, you know. Uh, red light, green light. Our job is to teach you how to stop losing money. Once you learn how to stop losing, then you learn how to start making money. Winners take care of themselves. So losers, you got to worry about. And if I didn't take that loss, it wouldn't look too pretty right now. So that that's another one right there. Uh, Pen, P-E-N-N. -N. Another one that's moving up pretty nicely too. We've done great with Pen. Stock was $5. Look at that. What's wrong with that long-term chart? Stock was at 40 went down to 5 There are a lot of stocks that got destroyed. OK, a lot of them got destroyed. There's some great opportunities out there. And this is your time to say, you know what? Is this going to be the morning? Is this the bottom? We've been looking for the bottom. I mean, I, I haven't seen the market drop this fast, this much in short period of time. And apparently now you have Congress going to step in, put, you know, help us out. You know, hopefully saves. Obviously, the most important is save American lives. You know, I mean, this is not even like. 9-11 where, you know, with our Twin Towers and, and New York was affected. The whole world's being affected by this stupid little virus, all right? But what do we do? Sit here and watch and just be confined to our house? Let's get out there. Let's trade together, and let's make money together. And that's what it's all about, all right? Um, now, a couple of things. Uh, so we got – Listen, I don't need to go through every single list. Everything is moving. Disney's up six dollars. Apple's up eleven. Facebook's up seven. Google's up fifty-four. Um, Win, which I love. Win, first my favorite, you know, casino in uh, you know, nicest rooms. By the way, if you ever go to go to uh, if you ever go to Las Vegas, the Win Hotel to me, I mean, the Encore, probably the best rooms I've seen in uh, in the hotel. But that's just me. Uh, Delta's up four four dollars. Okay. That blew up a buck. I mean, all these stocks are up. It's all green on my watch list. All right, Caesars up a buck. I mean, these things these things just bounce about fifty percent. Remember, they were only four dollars just a couple of days ago. Let's look at Caesars. We we were killing it on Caesars. All right? Yeah, four dollars. Look where it is now. Seven. It's almost up up almost up a hundred percent. So remember what I told you this um, when I told you guys this a long time um, when this whole thing started. And if you watch my video, um, let me bring it up really quick. You go to Cybertrade University. Being university really quick. You go to Cybertrade University, and you just scroll down. Watch the latest video that was on NASDAQ Traders Talks at, on March 4th, okay? Watch that video again if you missed it. And you'll hear me because they were asking me, Fausta, how do you deal with the coronavirus? And I said this, when the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst news comes out and that stock's not going any lower, then it's time to buy. Okay? And you know what? If you chased it, you know what? When you look where it is today and where it was, you know, two weeks ago, um, <laughs> you know what? It's okay because like I did, a mistake that I made, I bought Boeing at 170 and I thought it was a good buy. If they drop literally 200 points in about three days, but in that situation, there's great opportunities out there. All right, now just be care now. Listen, the Corona stocks are gone. Okay, all the Corona stocks, the pharmaceutical stocks, the masks. The we traded that back in February and early March. You know, in early March. Don't be going back to looking at them now. It's time to say, 
Now we're talking about this is phase two. This is the bailout. Let's focus on the bailout and let's focus on the stocks that are going to get bailed out. And here's your opportunity to buy them. Listen, Delta. Warren Buffett thought it was a screaming buy when it broke 44. Look it up. The stock was $60. He went out there and he bought a huge stake in it at $44. Guess what? I did too. I did too, and I lost money on it, and I sold it at 42. Oh, was that a bad trade? Damn well right it was, because it not only was it, was it a bad, it was a great loss, because that $2 loss would have been a $20 loss. It would have got crushed, okay? That's the difference between being a good day trader and a good swing trader. You got to learn what's happening over the course of the day, because if you wake up the next morning, it's usually too late. So guys, listen. Get excited. Now, now this is where it's going to start getting very busy here at Cybertrade University. This is where you guys are going to start being here all day. You know it's a part-time job in day trading. But unfortunately, actually, fortunately, this is where you actually need to work overtime. And that means you're going to have to work during the middle of the day. Especially if we have to see what comes out with the news out of Congress if they come up with this, this deal or not. Market's up right now about 900. We're definitely going to probably going to hit over 1,000. Um, you know, because obviously people like, me earlier when you have an online broker you can't buy anything you know everyone's gonna want to start buying so you're gonna see a big influx of buying coming in um now guys don't forget 1105 today josh is doing traders talk very popular um event that we do here once a week if um it's open to everybody here you don't have to be a gold or platinum student it's open for everyone that's in the cyber group room this is where we actually gonna you know go over some of the trades see what we did uh, um, pick somebody out that sends students sends in their journals and um, you know and go over and tell them what the good and bad remember this is remember these are all about controlling losses all right so listen I'm excited my family's excited you guys should be excited let's go out there and make money together so uh, hopefully all you new members here are enjoying it and if you're listening on Facebook you know, we're broadcasting live on YouTube and and Facebook and you know Twitter just feel free. If you guys want to jump in, you're more than happy to. But uh, it's never too late to jump in. And uh, just remember, the stock market will never go out of business. Good luck today. Traders, you see something, you say something, all right? Let us know your ins and outs. So will I. Let's go out and make a lot of money together. It's what we work for. Good luck, everybody. Happy trading.